So what do you do when you make a mistake with fillet selection? Well, it's as easy as double clicking the fillet to get back into the edit feature dialog box. In my situation, I accidentally added some edges that I didn't want to my, uh, my selection here. So what's the best way to handle that? Well, first off, you see that I don't see, they're not highlighted on my screen right now, All right? There are a few things you can do to make that easy to, to see. First off, you can come over here and just type in a value of zero. And when you type in a value of zero, you will see the edges a little clearer. I find this to be a really good trick for showing the edges that I originally selected. In my case, I didn't mean to select these edges right here. I actually meant to choose these bottom edges. In this situation, you know, you notice that if I click here, that it won't automatically connect to this edge right there. So I need to do something about this feature right here, or this edge, I should say. What can we do here? Well, first off, what should be the, the fillet of this, uh, this edge here? Well, if I make it three, uh, that might be a little too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cancel out of this. I go back and click on the original fillet. And once I double click that, I'm gonna add these edges to, to that fillet. And to do that, to add, I have to hold the control button down to be able to even select it. So I'll hold that control button while I grab those two edges and I'll make sure to rotate my model and do the same thing with these edges right here. Okay, and, and why did I do that? Well, because I think a two millimeter fillet's a better fillet for this situation right here, right? Now I have an error that's been generated and it's probably because sure enough, yep, the last fillet I did has issues with that. No problem, let's go back and edit that. I'll double click that. And in this situation, I want to just go ahead and remove these edges from the selection. It's so one click, I was able to do that. And remember, the goal was to create a smooth edge or intersection for this arc that was right here. So now that I have that fillet in place, there's now a nice transition to go from this face to that face. So I'll hold the control button down here. I can select that and add that to my, to my existing fillet. And there you go. So that was just a demonstration of how to go back, edit a fillet, and then even go back further to add more geometry to make a subsequent fillet easier to do. So you'll have to play with that a little bit, but what I want you to know is that it takes a while to get fillets exactly the way you want. Lessons to be learned here, don't try to do too many fillets at one time, and plan. Make sure that you're creating geometry that will allow subsequent fillets to flow throughout the geometry better the next time around. So we're done with this, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And let's take a look at the next set of fillets we need to do. Now the next ones I want to tackle are the ones associated with this pocket. Let's try to use that technique we used earlier where we created a pre-fillet to allow a secondary fillet to flow better. So for example, these corners here, if we go ahead and make all these corners here in this situation, maybe four millimeters, okay? And pick, I'll try to pick all these from this one view right here. Okay, I'll type in a value of four. And you see what happens now. We have a nice smooth edge that has tangent connections in the corners. And that will allow us to make another fillet a lot easier. In this situation, I'll click on here, choose a value of two. I like it. And we've made a really nice, elegant looking part with elegant looking fillets. Now that I look at this model a little bit more, I realize that this is also incorrect fillet. Now, in this situation, I should have probably had that fillet in this corner, similar to what I had on the top side over here. So how do we fix that? Well, once again, we wanna click on the fillet. And by doing that, we get a preview of where that fillet is in the timeline. You see the triple marks above this fillet here. So I double click that. Again, I'm, I'm back in the edit mode. And I'd like to just kind of remove this fillet here. Okay, if, if I want to, I can simply just click on that fillet again and does it go away? No, it doesn't. You have to hold control down so you can temporarily see those edges. And then you can just click one more time to remove it. And in this situation, I just wanna add this instead. And you have to use control to do that. And I'll hit okay. And we've just corrected the model. As easy as that. I'm gonna go back to my isometric view. Let's take a look at our part in all its glory. And I, I notice there's still hard edges right here. I just want a very subtle fillet on these to keep 
anyone from hurting themselves. So I'm gonna use the smallest fillet that I have available to me in my machine shop, and that's gonna be a one millimeter fillet. In this situation here, I'll click on this edge, and I'll add this edge as well. That's one millimeter. I'll accept that, and the part's looking pretty good. 